now that we've finished the neck, we travel into the chest. The first thing that we look at are the lungs. So here, this is axial orientation again. So this is the right side and here's the left side. So here's the right lung and here's the left lung. Again, they're black, so they're filled with air. And then the white streaks that we see here are the vessels. Now, what I'm looking for here are any kind of pulmonary nodules or masses. And in this case, I don't see anything worrisome, no nodules or masses, no signs of infection. So these look normal by MRI. Now, there are some limitations with MRI when we're looking at the lungs relative to CT, for example. With CT, we can get a bit more detail with the microarchitecture of the lung, like the interstitium. So people with like chronic interstitial lung disease would benefit from a CT as opposed to an MRI in this case. But for screening exams, this serves its purpose really well. So we can say there's no suspicious findings in the lung, and I can also support that by looking at my diffusion imaging, looking for that firmness, those highly cellular masses, and I would see any kind of black nodules or masses on this sequence, and I don't see anything there. So I feel confident that we don't see anything concerning here. The other thing that we look for is any kind of abnormal fluid accumulation around the lung. The best way to do that is to look at this specific sequence. It looks kind of black and white. And what that means is anything really bright or white is gonna be fluid. So if we saw abnormal fluid around the lung, we would see that white signal surrounding the lung tissue here or here, and we don't see any of that. We also look for abnormal fluid accumulation around the heart, which is over here in the central portion of the chest. So here's the heart right here, and this is a normal size heart. But if I saw abnormal fluid, we would see kind of a thickened white rim around the heart, but we don't see that in this case. Now that we're talking about the heart, there are other limitations that we do have with our exam, specifically looking for coronary artery calcification. We can't see calcification very well on MRI. So there are better tests to look for that kind of process, but overall, this heart looks very normal. Then I look at the aorta coming out of the heart. So here's the ascending part and it goes up like a candy cane, makes an arch, and then comes all the way down and goes into the abdomen. What I'm looking for here is any abnormal dilatation, like an aortic aneurysm. I don't see any aneurysm here. This is a very normal sized aorta, so nothing concerning here. We also look for lymph nodes in the central portion of the chest and in the armpit regions, the axillary regions, just like we did in the neck. I don't see any abnormal lymph nodes centrally, nor do I see them in the axillary regions on both sides. So now that we've seen what normal lung looks like, let's see what abnormal lung looks like. So here in the right lung, we see a round mass in the mid to upper portion of the right lung. And when I look here on the coronal image, I see a corresponding mass right there. And then if I go over to my diffusion image, my functional sequence that looks for firmness or cellularity, we see a dark spot. So the combination of the appearance of this with the diffusion tells me that this is a concerning lesion and suspicious for a lung cancer. Mm -hmm.